If you want a party that's going to swing, get a lookalike. The Portland Lookalike Agency. Yes, the Portland Lookalike Agency. We can provide you and your loved ones with lookalikes from many of today's top celebrities. It's like having friends that everyone knows. It's really good. You can talk to them like celebrities. So give us a call. Situated in the heart of Fortune's Well between Geetas and Curse Lakes, the Portland Lookalike Agency. Sometimes when you want to call a friend, you want to call your friend Orson Wells. Call the Paul and Lookalike Agency. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start. A flame in your heart In my heart I have but one desire And that one is you No other will do I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same, I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of. Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. I don't want to set the world on fire, honey. I love you too much. I just want to start a great big flame down in your heart. You see, way down inside of me, darling, I have only one desire, and that one desire is you, and I know nobody else ain't gonna do. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love And with your admission that you feel the same I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart. So there's something about approaching the island. So you see that big white ball on the top. Oh, right. And you okay, think, okay, um, yeah. what's that? Is that the first thing you kind of notice? It's the first thing I notice, and it's sort yeah. of... Well, so, actually, when we drove... We've just been on a little day trip to Lyme Regis today uh, with Sadie. So we, we were driving back over the causeway just this afternoon, and she said... Well, I'm paraphrasing her. I'm not saying her exact words. Uh, this mixture of um, extreme beauty and, and a kind of ugliness... Um, and I think that's a really 
interesting way of describing it. Uh, Jim Leach, uh, co-existor of the Portland Lookalike Agency. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. Hi Danny. Hi, right. hi Sue. Hi. Yeah, I just got to try and find the key. The idea of the Portland Lookalike Agency was to make a film that was a reflection of the uh, of how we live, how we are living on the island. An absurd idea came to us one evening about having a lookalike agency possibly situated up the road. Is, is it almost in a... The lookalike agency is almost in a parallel universe. The Portland lookalike agency is uh, almost a parallel universe. Not what I said before, was it? It's kind of exists in a vaguely parallel universe to what we are living in now, probably not that far away. My name is Jeff Bridges and I work for the Portland Lookalike Agency. Oh, the last one was a relative success, yes. Uh, people were, some were fooled, some weren't. Uh, it's all part of the job, really. I'm slightly embarrassed, <laughs> surprised. Do I actually look like him? Ah, oh, it's the fascination of the sky and the, uh, the air, the light. Ah, oh, I go away to places but I always come back here. No, too much in the limelight, you know. It's nice enough just doing this, just on the other occasion, to actually be that person, no. Portland Lookalike Agency, a group of hard-working, men and women who have taken secondary employment to supplement their the Portland Lookalike Agency is a collection of hard the Portland okay, got it. the Portland Lookalike Agency is a collection of hard working men and women who seek to supplement their weekly income with a da -da -da. Hi I'm James Dean and I work for the Portland Lookalike Agency. But well, basically, everybody, yeah, probably would have hired me because they wanted to get a feeling of an experience of James Dean. And basically, the fact that they got what they paid for, and it wasn't a waste of their time and money. We all know that James Dean died many, many years ago. What's it, seventy years ago? And right now, I don't think we're really in a good place to. Uh, we you know who James Dean was? For the money, yes. Not for the car crash. I'm uh, Jeff Needle and I run the Fortunes Well branch of the uh, Portland Lookalike Agency. I like the look of that. I don't like the look of that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Best ignored. Best ignored. Oh, Jim Leach, yes. Well, we run this operation together. Jim and I. Um, I think it's safe to say we have very differing methods on how best to, uh, how should we put it, how oh, best to maximise the potential of the agency. We both have a common goal. I'm the heart, the physical, living, breathing entity, the one that pumps the blood, keeps the whole thing ticking along. Leech, on the other hand, uh, I don't know how to put this without being mean, um, prayers, summonings, demons, kind of incantation that involves taking clothes off, I think. I'm more of a pen and paper kind of guy, so um, I don't really have a, an objective angle. Hi, I'm Stevie Nicks and I work for the Portland Lookalike Agency. Well, uh, the, the job went well. Uh, I think that everybody was pretty convinced. <laughs> uh, I moved here about four years ago um, and I haven't looked back. No. No reason to. Um, we've got the sea, we've got a lovely community. Yeah, it's just it's just a beautiful place with beautiful people. Absolutely. Why do you think I don't want to leave? I don't think they'll let me go anywhere else, so I think I think we get we get on okay. I think we see eye to eye. Um, I just I just really hope that I get paid. Jim said he's, he might have to trim some of the fees. Well, it's definitely not gonna be mine. Um Oh my goodness. The Portland Lookalike Agency is a collection of hard-working men and women who can... What can they do? Hi, I'm Maggie Gyllenhaal and I work for the Portland Lookalike Agency. It was okay, but 
I got recognised a lot afterwards. Uh, the uh, wildness of it. There's no um, restrictions, no health and safety around the coastline. You can just walk freely. There's nothing that gets on my nerves about Portland. Um, I miss the shops, but we go to Bristol for that. Yes, but like somewhere like Canada, which I kind of think Portland has aspects of that too. Uh, no. Anything for a quiet life? Pretty much. Were you involved in, I remember seeing those posters, you know, el, el, older yeah, people. Yeah, that's us. Uh, that was yeah. good, that. Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's going to be a progression and the next level will be um, how they feel a bit in between and then we'll do like an end story of what they now can do with their lives because we sort of got involved with them and things. So it's a bit of a journey. Hi, I'm Christian Slater and I work for the Portland Lookalike Agency. Well, that wasn't really work as such, I don't believe. But you did get paid, didn't you? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I've had better payments, you know, back in the 90s. I used to, you know, command a higher wage. Yeah, I mean, the weather's good. There's a nice beach. You know, there's some cool people here. There's, uh, there's like a really lovely promenade down there. There's a cute little pub over there. It's all good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I don't really know. That's part of the sort of traveling lifestyle. You never really know, you know. You might move on, you might not. You, that's the freedom of it. Yeah, I like to I like to reenact scenes from true romance. That's really my favourite thing that I like to do. To be to be honest with you, could you do a little bit for us now? Uh, I'm trying to remember some of the lines. Uh, I guess there's the uh, there's the music. Is that one of the lines? There's the music. Din 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 din. I heard him say to his friends on the phone one day that the edge of the earth, he knew the earth was flat because the edge of the world was about 50 yards from the bottom of our garden. But yeah, he, he misses these opportunities for restaurants, theatres, concerts, artists, and or having opportunities to, exp I don't know, to get involved with people from different cultures. And But he misses the opportunities he would have as an adult. Hi, I'm Alan Gentop and I work for the Portland Look Like Agency. It's been shallow, let us say. It's, uh, yeah, I could do with some more work coming in through the door, not getting the phone calls that I would like to get. But hopefully it's going to pick up. I hope. I think that went, went quite well. I mean, okay, she did walk out smash a glass but I thought the interview went quite well she didn't talk to me again after that what brought me to Portland was I visited here a couple of times and I thought it's a lovely place I'd love to live here the people were generous warm welcoming I thought this kind of place I want to live as of today no but you never know what's around the corner um, what opportunities may arise it's a gig for Alan Yentop, oh, it's an offer of a gig for Alan Yentop. The only problem is he's a little bit sticky. He, he does see himself as an artist, and, and with all artists, you know, they're incredibly bad tempered and egocentric. Hello. Ah, there you are, Alan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's um, Jeff from the PLA. How's Kabina? We've got you some work. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's incredible, isn't it? Two hours pay for, I don't know, about 20 minutes of work. It's at the Blues Club. All the old dear wants is um, you to give her a Yen Top style grilling in, you know, in the vein of his imagined television program about her life. Yeah, yeah, she, which you can do, you know, which you can do in your sleep, man, to be honest. 8th of September, probably about 8 through 10 or something, 80 quid. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, after the interview, um, yeah. The, uh, that she'd like you to remove your trousers. So, sorry, say that again. <laughs> Drop my trousers. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of thought you'd react like that, Alan. In an interview. It's 60 quid without the strides, you know. Extra 20 quid just for loosening your belt. No, 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 no. I, your belt, not your principles, darling. So for my dignity, I would lose 20 pounds. I completely consider you a serious artist. You know, completely. No, I'm not taking the piss. Have you ever seen me do that after interviewing somebody? 
have a chat with Davina, sit on it for the evening, give us a call back in the morning, you know, and see how you feel about it. You say that, right? But then what happens is somebody's there with a the phone, they film it, it goes viral, I look an idiot, my career's totally over. I mean, it's not super at the moment, but it's been super bad then. Listen, you know, nobody can be filming it. I, 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 I promise. No, I'm not going to make a decision now, okay? I really, I am going to really be sleeping on that quite heavily. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Bye, bye, bye. I think he'll do it. I don't know, I think I'm going to do it. Favourite place? It's got to be Chesil Beach. Just the sound of the waves, going up the pebbles. It's great. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about that. <sighs> Jeff was just trying to get me to do it, but it involved removing of clothing and that's just stop something I'm not going to do or get into. You did it once. Yeah, but in my defence, I wasn't sane. Um, no, because I wouldn't want his pressure. Plus also, he's a bit chunkier than I am, so I wouldn't want that either. I'm quite happy being me. Temperature Sandwich Games gives you Cradle to the Grave, the fun new board game for all of the family. Use all of your skill and cunning to progress in life at the expense of others. Wages filled by 11 plus. I'm playing the mental health card, I can't take the next two goals. Oh no. Yes, navigate your way through life's eternal scrap until one or more of you finally dies. House fire, you lose everything. I just rejected your loan application. I'm going back to college, I just can't cope. Cradle to the Grave by Room Temperature Sandwich Games. Available now, recommended retail price about £2,000. Portland, I think, is, I'm not criticising it, but I think it's a deprived area, which is a shame. So there's nothing for the young people, there's no job expectation. I mean, Weymouth is not much better, to be honest, but I think it's slightly better than Portland. And, and no disrespect to the people who have who were in prison or in the Borsal or that, but I think a lot of those kind of people hung around Portland, so I think it's gone down a little bit, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, there's a lot more of that element here in Portland, which yeah. is a shame. But it's the same thing all over the country, though, isn't it? So I suppose Portland's not much different in many ways, but um, I'm sure I heard on the news one time that Portland was one of, or not, the most deprived area in the south of England or in the Dorset. I know it was quite big and Portland was the main one. I was quite surprised when I found, found I, mean, I was, yeah, surprised. I was surprised when I sort of learned that yeah. statistic. I, I knew it was deprived, but I didn't think of it. I, I think lived it in such deprived. a deprived I know, place. I know. It's sad though, isn't it? Yeah, so I had Jeff on the phone earlier on today as well. All right, oh, how's things going there? No, it's all right, you know, he's fretting. What's going on, you know, he's going on about that dropping trousers thing. You know, do I tell you about it? the blues it? club, the one yeah. that, because somebody loved that, didn't they? Was, yeah, was that, you know, the thing is though, you know, I can't really go to the practice the next day and go, hey, we saw you at the club dropping your trousers. It's like, you know, it's not what a professional does. I mean, especially from Facebook with trousers down by the ankles. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. see it? Yeah, I'd lose business. Can but, you still do the job without doing that, or? Well, it's, it's only talking about 20 quid, you know, it's not like... What, for the trousers? Yeah, the trousers? yeah. And how much without the dropping? Well, I just lose 20 quid. I lose 20 quid. Yeah, I know, but come on, will it make it that special? If, you know, the dentist drops his trousers? Don't know that, don't know. Yeah, I'm not fix that. So yeah, I said I said I'd get back to him after I talk to you about it. Mm. So it's a bit of a no no really. Isn't it? Would it help if I could remove my top and shave my bra? What now? And I meant the blue side. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no. Hello, I'm Davina McCall, and I work for the Portland Lookalike Agency. Oh, it's really good. Me, uh, me and my husband, we love it. We love it. It's it's like what, it's a hobby for us. 
I just love the, the quirkiness, the, the, the mentality of the people. I love the landscape. Uh, I love the long walks. Um, it's just a beautiful part of the world. No, definitely not. Definitely not. I just know too many. I'm just too popular here now, and I just know so many people. Well, it's it's the Davina. It's um, since I was recognised as looking like Davina, it's just sort of my life's taken off. I'm not sure because it's like I've got two lives. I've got the life of me and the life of Davina, so I've kind of got the best of both. So I'm going to phone him and say no. Mm. Say, look, I'll do the interview, I'm in the end top style, but I'm not doing the kind of carry on ending to it. It's okay. just not really my yeah. you know, Benny Hill cup of tea, you know? I'm Bob Mitchum and I work for the Portland Lookalike Association. Take two. I'm Bob Mitchum and I work for the Portland Lookalike Agency. <laughs> People say I look like Robert Mitchum. I'm not Robert Mitchum, I'm Bob from Portland. I, I thought you were Portland, Bob. No, Bob from Portland. The FP, I I used to live up Top Hill and it was hard work up there, you know. And I worked in the prison as well. It was a hellhole. No, no, nowhere else. I wouldn't even live up Top Hill. Too far. Okay. From where, Bob? From the heart of Fortune's Well. Port of Arms. Probably Utopia talking at David Byrne. David Byrne's new album. Favourite places? Probably a bench at the end of Clovens Road. It's very nice to sit there and when nobody's mowing the grass and it's nice and quiet. Uh, not really because I think he's dead, isn't he? I'm Jeremy Corbyn and I work for the Portland Lookalike Agency. It was an interesting day. I had to um, meet several people that I didn't particularly like. I had to uh, open a fate which was very good, um, but lots of banal questions from people who thought I should be um, giving more of my money to the poor and so on and so forth. But it was a good day, it was interesting, and um, I felt thoroughly exhausted at the end of it and convinced that Jeremy Corbyn's policies are the right ones. I became involved in Portland when I got involved with the trade unions, and I moved here looking after the quarrymen, and looking after the stone workers, and I came to love the place. A complete change from London. I think I'll find my place here. No. I, I wouldn't like to move now. In fact, I rarely move now. Probably Church Oak Cove, and probably the Cove at Chisholm. No. Um, I don't like wearing suits, or ties, or politicians. He's, he comes across as a very honest person. Um, he gets attacked by the right-wing media, left, right and centre, sorry, right and centre. Um, everything he does is held up as um, an example of how terrible he is and how communist he is. And a few years ago, Jack Straw, for instance, laid a wreath at the Palestinian graves and nobody battered an either. Jeremy Corbyn does it and they're all up in arms and so on. But he's got principles.
Do you, you know why we've come out, Alan? No, I'm not sure, but I have a, an inkling. I'll cut to the quick, Alan. Go on then. It's like, I want, do you know when you want to say a prayer sometimes? You, you know, it's like a moment and you, you think, ah, oh, I really could do with a prayer. I think finding a nice place to do it is quite important. Very um, elemental within nature rather than beyond it. Yeah, I thought that was okay idea. It is a good idea, yeah. but... Better than me take my clothes off. Just a quick chat about the job. Actually, yeah, go. So, I'm going to take my clothes off mm. in, in a kind of wish. Yeah. And maybe you could drop your trousers. I was going to get paid for that. And I well, said, no. You know? What, well, you're going to do it for free? No, I wasn't going to do it unless uh, I was getting paid good money. So if I was going to, I'm not going to take my clothes off now because I'm not getting paid for it. I think the time, the time we're ready, yeah. Yeah, but you, you don't know what to expect. I'll play some piano, you play ukulele. <laughs> tried this before well, but I've been thinking about doing it for a long time. Really? Yeah. Months. Focus on I'm going yeah I'm trying. Rock. Yeah. Couple of questions to you guys. Now uh, Alan yeah. Under the circumstances, what with Jim Leach getting his kit off, does that make you feel more comfortable about dropping your trousers at the Blues Club? No. What's he going to take? <laughs> well, everything. I thought I'd give I you did. everything. No. <laughs> you know, I just don't want it. Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. The Portland Lookalike Agency is the Portland Lookalike Agency is an agency. What is it? It's a the Portland Lookalike Agency is a lookalike agency. So let, <laughs> the Portland Lookalike Agency is a celebrity lookalike agency. We hire out celebrity lookalikes. Well, me mum said I had to go to work. You can want some money at you now. You can earn some now. <laughs> Straight out of school and into the dockyard. Yes, right. You know, I have, I have about six weeks off, I suppose. Six or seven weeks, anyway, no longer. But she said I had to go to get a job down there. Those are good times. I enjoyed working down there. I had a few bad times, but not, not many. But most of it's all good. It's just changed a lot now, the shops. A lot of the shops are all shut now, see it, like it used to be here. You can see where the bin is like a bit of work, like a shop. No, it was shut down. <clears throat> Just like Weymouth there, a lot of their shops are shut and do that. All, all on the same boat. <laughs> this is my place to live in Portland. I wouldn't like to move from here. The Portland Lookalike Agency The CIA The FBI MI5 Doesn't have to be like this, you know. 